So what is a tennis affirmation and should you be doing them? That's the topic of this video. It's gonna be a little bit different to a lot of my other videos, but I hope you'll like it. If you love tennis and you wanna get better at tennis, I think you will. So leave me your thoughts down in the comments section. I'm interested to hear about it because if you enjoy this video, I'll make more like it. Okay, let's get into it. So if you don't know what an affirmation is, an affirmation is basically a positive statement that you say to yourself to basically try and program your brain. Now I was watching the US Open this year, as I'm sure everyone was. Djokovic was going for the Grand Slam, so it was pretty exciting stuff. I was watching all his matches, I was watching all his post-match interviews. I just love listening to Djokovic talk. I've seen a whole bunch of interviews that he's done with other people as well. He is just an amazing person. And he was doing, I think it was after his second round match, he was being interviewed with Pam Shriver and by somebody else. And they just asked him a simple question, kind of about how he keeps himself calm under all this pressure going for like a historic Grand slam and he just dived into it he just went off on one about mindset and focus and staying present and some of the things that I'm really going to talk about now so from that interview which I've recorded and watched several times and from some of Djokovic's other interviews like he's got a great one with Wim Hof that you probably want to search out or maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try and find it and I'll leave the link down in the description because it's fantastic to watch he's very into manifestations and mindset. So manifestations is really kind of visualizing and focusing all of your energy on achieving a positive outcome because by directing your energy towards it, it's really going to increase the likelihood of it happening. So to give you a really kind of simple way to think about it, if I'm about to hit a short forehand and I'm going up to that forehand and going, oh man, I suck, I'm going to miss this forehand. Well, that's probably going to increase the likelihood of you missing this forehand. Well, if you get the same short forehand and you go up to it and you're like, I, I have a fantastic forehand, I always watch the ball onto my strings, you're more likely to make the forehand. Hopefully that, that makes sense. So tennis affirmations are kind of working along those lines. You're trying to reprogram your brain with, with positive intent to increase the likelihood that you achieve a specific outcome. So I'm gonna give you a few examples in a moment, but if you just want the answer, should you be doing tennis affirmations? If you want to get better, I truly believe that this is something that you should definitely be incorporating on some level. Now, I'm not talking about going all loony and just walking around all day, every day, going, I'm an amazing tennis player, I'm an amazing tennis player. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about using them on court in a very specific way to help control what goes on in between your head. Because tennis is like a chess match, only Instead of moving pieces with your hand, you've got to have unbelievable movement around the court and you've got to have all these different skills to use all these different techniques. And then you've got to play the, the chess game with your mind as well. So this is really going to help with the, the chess game portion of it and just programming positivity, helping you to stay present, helping you to stay focused on the thing that you need to focus on. Because having negative thoughts on court is one of the worst things that can happen. You know, it happens to everyone from now on again, uh, from time to time, but you've got to push them away and stay present and positive affirmations are a way to do it. Now, the way that you phrase them, you phrase them in kind of a, a current state, in an I am state. So it's like, I am a motivated tennis player. I'm a tennis player that always works hard. I'm a tennis player that's always aggressive with my feet. All right, I'm always aggressive with my feet. I keep moving my feet on every shot. I keep focused on every shot. That's the sort of thing that I encourage you to say. If you actually search um, tennis affirmations, I didn't realize this until just before I made this video and I searched for them to see if it was something that anyone else did. Um, there are tennis affirmations out there. So you could try listening to some of those, but the way I look at this stuff, some of those affirmations, they're a bit too much for me. Um, some of them are, oh, I, I make every first serve. I can't say that to myself because I know that I don't make every first serve. I know that even the best players on the planet don't make every first serve. So for me, that kind of affirmation, it, it causes a visceral response where I just know it's wrong, so I can't believe it. So I like to choose things that are within my control, and generally I talk about being a motive, uh, motivator, you know, I'm a positive, focused tennis player. I watch the ball onto my strings on every shot. That's a common one that I go for. Just, I repeat that over and over again. If I realize I'm slipping into a negative pattern on court, I'd say that, or if I'm getting tired on court, 
Like I've had a lot of health problems in the past. You might know that if you've watched some of my other videos. That's how I got into this whole tennis hacking thing. So I used to struggle a lot with fatigue. So I would be on court, I would be tired and my eyes would be blurry and I would start to use it as an excuse. So what I have replaced that with, as soon as I catch myself going, oh man, I'm tired, like oh, it's okay if I lose this point or this match. I have to catch it, stop it, use these positive affirmations. I'm an energetic, motivated tennis player. I work hard on every point, I watch the ball onto my my strings and just say that over and over again oh no I'm tired I can't do this no and then you catch yourself you stop it and you bring yourself back into the present use these positive affirmations and statements to really help you improve your mindset on court so if you want to get better I, uh, I highly advise that you experiment with this stuff because it can really make a big difference and again if it's good enough for Djokovic is definitely good enough for me now something that I want to mention briefly um, you want to work on this stuff. This is kind of the how-to. This is how you approach it. But if you've seen some of my other videos, I talk about there being two parts to everything in tennis. There's whether you know what to do, so now you know what to do, positive statements, and there's whether you can actually do it or not. Because there are actually certain things that can go on behind the scenes within your body and within your brain that can make this a lot more challenging. And this is some of the stuff that I had to deal with as well as doing what I'm talking about now. And I've made a masterclass to dig, that digs in a lot more detail into it, <laughs> that digs into a lot more detail about the mental toughness side of things. I'll place a link down in the description so you can check that out. If you re really want to learn everything you can about improving your focus and mental toughness, I think you'll really enjoy that too. Okay, I hope you have found this video uh, useful. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Obviously, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would be great if you could do that as well. And I'll see you next time.